Today we are going to Bali for the first time, but we are here for one goal and that is to dive the most drone place in the world, the stunning Kellington Beach. Spoiler alert, this shot got me 20 million views on Instagram, but we also have some side quests and at the end some devastation. But to get there, we need to take a long ass flight from Australia, we pulled up to Bali at night and the next morning we had to get up really early to catch a boat to Nusa Penida. Because I had no idea what was going on, we nearly missed the boat. But after a little boat ride we met up with our drivers, I was thinking of riding the scooter, but the roads here were horrendous. First stop, Broken Beach. Alright, so this is the first FPV spot, the Broken Beach right there. This might be hard, there's fucking tons of people out here. I don't even know if we have enough signal to try and like go through all the way. I literally see two drones flying at the same time. <laughs> this is a bit of a mess, but unfortunately the sky is pretty literally just white, so it's not gonna look the best, but look, it is what it is. You get what you get on these conditions, so we'll definitely try again tomorrow in the sunrise, but for now, I think it's time to send it and give it a bit of a rip. Let's hope it turns out well. First place I fly, surely not the first place I lose a drone, right? Straight in there. That was an insane flight. Obviously we could have flown a bit closer, but this is the first flight. We don't want to lose a drone yet, which is some slight foreshadowing. But despite all the chaos, I think we got the shot. However, next stop is the infamous Kellington Beach. And I'm just hoping it's not raining. Thankfully the weather was half decent and now I have this one dive on my mind. Honestly, this is one of the most drone locations in the world, but I want to leave my mark and fly extremely close to the ridge, dive down and have a crazy line. It's crazy hot, man. I think it's time to rip the drone. It's just really concerning that there's about 10 other drones out here, which might fuck up my signal. But let's go for a dive and try not to lose this guy. Pray for some bangers. These might be the best shots I have ever gotten. If you're wondering how many takes these took, I literally only flew one pack because I don't want any risk. Flying this close is already risky enough, mate, so you don't want to do a line like 20 times because you're probably going to lose the drone. But to be fair, the first line I shot was a bit too far in my opinion, so I redid that. And that was the most viral clip I have ever had. Hop on Instagram if you want to check that out. But in the meantime, the day was not over and we went to this random beach that I don't even know the name of. I saw a little bit of a gap between the rocks and you know I have to fly the drone through that. Hope I can get some cooler lines here. It's interesting. I don't really know a direct line, but let's just try and send it and see what we come up with. Oh my goodness, that last gap was way too close. But this is when things started taking a turn for the worst. All right, so <laughs> we brought the drone back and I didn't realize I landed here, but there's a bunch of iron sand, like black sand, which is like very magnetic and it's like stuck in my motors and like three of my motors are kind of jammed. Don't really know how to get that shit out. Uh, I'll try and do it later, but oh, fuck, that's not great. This was not good. I had a sunrise at the beautiful diamond beach lined up and I had no idea how to fix this. Oh man, so I spent like the last 30 minutes with this tape, my saving grace. So I didn't have this, I'd be so screwed. Basically, I disassembled every motor and then I used this tape to like stick out the uh, iron filings and I think we are good again. We are good to rip it tomorrow morning and we're going to catch a sunrise, which sunrise is at like 548. The only way to beat the heat, beat the crowds. I tested the drone just there. But good, so if you ever have iron filings and shit stuck, you need some tape, disassemble everything, and then look at all this mess. Everything and go fly again. Well, I think I'm 99% sure it'll fly again.
we've arrived to Atur slash Diamond Beach and it's about like 6 a.m. right now and we wildly miss the sunrise. It's partly due to a uh, freaking garbage truck stopping us like midway. But yeah, it is so beautiful, man. Just like the fact that we're the only ones here right now. There's a few other tourists that walk by, but it looks so beautiful. And oh my God, Diamond Beach looks amazing, man. Holy shit. Can't zip the drone, man. Oh my God, I'm kind of like itching to zip it. I may have lied, but these are some of the most beautiful FPV shots I have ever gotten and the risk is definitely there. Flew extremely close to the waves and we did not lose a drone. I'm also very glad despite my motors literally being jammed last night, they worked fine. But now the next stop is Atua Beach. I don't know if I said that right, but let's hike down there and have a look. Apologies for the sun flares, make sure you always wipe your GoPro, but I was wearing a shitty shirt and no matter what I could do, I could not clean the lens. But as you can see, whenever you see a rock gap in the ocean, we have to send it. And this may or may not have been when disaster occurred. And there you have it, that is the dumbest crash I have ever had. I didn't crash when I was diving cliffs, getting impossible shots. No, it was just one lapse of concentration, but well, that's FPV. I may not seem too sad in the next clips. But if you're a subscriber, you know I just lost a drone. And this is the second day of my Bali trip, and I'm stuck with a measly Cine Whoop. So, I was flying, I was doing an amazing job, and I started talking to Crystal, and it was the dumbest crash ever. But I literally just like, forgot about the throttle. I tried to throw up too late, and I took a big bathing in salt water, so. It's probably fried. Let's take a look at it. Have a look at that. So yeah, I'm sweating big time, but we'll give it a rinse and uh, hopefully it's all good. But it probably isn't. It is what it is. All right, so I'm pretty sure this drone is like 99% fried. But uh, what we need to do is clean the motors anyway. As you can see, I don't know if you can actually see that, but they're full of absolute shit. So. It's my second time doing this. God damn it, man. This is just sad because I know it's probably fucked up. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a go. I'm almost certain it's like fried. Oh, it's definitely fried. Didn't even make a noise. No. That was nice knowing you, drone. Well, that's laters. And that's how I lost a drone I only had for two months. Literally just lost concentration, adjusted my goggles, and it took a deep bath in salt water. That being said, I think we got some of the most beautiful shots I've ever gotten. And now I'm just left with a Cine Whoop, eight more days in Bali, and I'd promise hotels I'd shoot drone footage with them. If you want to see how I fare, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.